Welcome back, everybody. Well, here it is. Uh, everybody going back to school and uh, we're into the well, the second half of August and finally summer decides to arrive. How about that? Uh, we take a look here at the clouds and the radar and we can see that uh, we have had some areas of showers and thunder showers and actually some of the stronger weather has stayed farther to the north. You get back out here to the west. We have some clearing and there is another little area of rain right in through here, which probably warrants watching, but I'm not convinced that it's going to have a major impact on us at this point. Uh, there is a little bit of rain showing up over here with this uh, just here to the uh, west of Quincy and up here in the northwestern portion of Illinois. Uh, also uh, to around Miami County, actually right in through here, right along the Wabash River here into Cass County. So we have uh, some thunder and lightning up there, some storms, but no severe thunderstorm watchers or warnings in effect for our area here in the News 10 viewing area. Uh, we do have some cloudiness though. It's 85 degrees. It was 86. Uh, Robinson has 85, Olney 84, Fort Flora 83, uh, Effingham 87, and uh, Paris has 83. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, it's got to be hotter than that. It just must feel warmer. Well, it does because uh, dew points, remember when we talk about dew points, it, personally, if I get a dew point above 65 or so, even above 63, that's when it starts to feel a humid, a little sticky out there. So the, the dew point is 73. You combine that with the temperature, the amount of moisture in the air combined with the temperature gets uh, what we call this heat index or how it feels like, how your body reacts. And so the heat index right now is 92 degrees. Robinson 94, Olney 94, and uh, Mattoon 87. And so, yeah, it's warm out there. It's very uncomfortable. And so it will continue to be that way through the evening hours. The wind, 15 miles per hour, right up out of the southwest here in Terre Haute, uh, nine in Robinson in Vincennes, 10 and a southwest breeze in Paris at three. So we do have a nice breeze out there, but that's not gonna do a whole lot to cool us off. Storm Team 10 future cast now takes us through the uh, overnight hours into the day tomorrow. And uh, there's just a very slight chance of an isolated storm during the day tomorrow. But I think as we get into tomorrow night, then there may be a better chance of scattered showers and thunder showers developing, especially during the overnight hours, as you can see right in through here. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that for you. In the meantime, some scattered storms possible tonight. Fog developing 65 degrees for the overnight low. And then for tomorrow, partly cloudy, maybe an isolated afternoon storm, certainly warm and muggy, 87 for the high, which you know still is just about average for this time of year. But after a summer where we've had temperatures that have been below average, when we get up to what would be an average temperature, it just feels unusually warm. It isn't actually 70 degrees, scattered storms, warm and muggy, 70 degrees for the overnight low tonight. And the seven day forecast, just a chance for an isolated storms. A uh, storm on Wednesday, tomorrow 87, a better chance of storms tomorrow night. And then as we get into the day on Thursday and Friday and even into Saturday, then we have the possibility of some at least scattered showers and thunder showers. Temperatures up into the 90s and wow. the upper 80s.